stripper on there at the moment so we can just get it back to raw metal. I've got this repair panel um, which will go on the outside. Uh, i got a similar one on the other side but it's a bit smaller because I don't need the full length one like that. Um, this side's in better condition. <laughs> well I say that, I mean it's not amazing but it's, it's more sound so um, Yes, let's uh, get this off, this rusty hole here, cut that out, I mean, and this part here, I managed to get the lower dash loose enough so that I can use this extended um, footwell repair section from YRM. So yes, got other bits for the seat box which I've stripped down, I've taken off the old um, toolbox and the battery box and all the sections on it as well so I'm just in the process of stripping that down before um, I put on the repair panels and uh, yes so there we go and that's my new side panels for the tub Nineteen eighty nine. Two thousand and one. Two thousand and ten. Two thousand and six. Two thousand and three. Hmm. Nineteen eighty three. Tiger seal, tiger seal, polyethylene, it's flexible, gonna seal up all the gaps here. I should have, I should have done this before I uh, riveted stuff together, so like when I riveted it, there was like a layer of seal in between already, but yeah, you live and you learn. I've got, got that one down there in some hot water, because it's much easier to apply when it's softer. Shut up, nobody's going to see this, plus I can paint over it. Right, tub, sorry, tub, uh, seat box is looking much nicer. Um, I just need to paint the bottom. It's just in primer and the uh, cover things. That's an original bumpy one that I've restored. It only came with one, and that's a brand new one there. Um, and on the tub, we are in the process of rebuilding it. So we've got our nice new shiny parts, new seals there, um, and new end pieces. So, yes, it's the fun part. And we're trying to repair this. You see, it's pretty corroded in places. So, we've got some repair panels. And we're going to be doing the same for these rear panels too. Um, new ones over there. So, just a lot of riveting and drilling. Pro. 
primered, primered. These are nice and blue. Uh, but it's raining, so I'm stuck in my little garage. Trying to think what else to do. I could do the painting of the doors, the side panels in here. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. Could have a tidy up. I could just wait for uh, the weather to change. Bulk good repairs today. I weld in this panel. Hello, um, it's been a little while since my last video and my last confession, um, but yeah, just priming this door up, uh, etching primer, I scuffed it up a bit, I actually filled some little imperfections in the, the new skin, so I'll probably give it a couple coats of this, rub it down before paint, um, so yeah, just making, uh, picking up some of the jobs that I've been putting on hold. Uh, I've got some nice weather now and uh, let's just crack on with the next steps. Hello folks, check out my brand new spanking beautiful roof. Did you believe this cost me £500? Yeah, uh, but you know it's perfectly straight, just the paint stripped off. So we'll get that stripped and repainted. Um, but the car is starting to look more like a Land Rover. We're putting uh, these back on, so um, get the wings back on, and um, yeah, looks better from behind. <laughs> Got this door painted here. The other one's inside. I'm letting it dry for a few days before I put it on. Um, but uh, yeah, it's actually a nice day for once, so I can actually do stuff outside. And the twatting neighbours are away, so that's always a bonus. Um, I also bought myself a new toy. Got rid of my Mondale and bought myself a 400 horsepower mentioned Focus RS, and I'm loving it. Um, so, uh, but enough about that, you just care about Land Rovers, don't you? Um, so we'll crack on with this and then, um, yeah, excited to get the roof back on. Uh, had it started up today just to move it forward. Started first time, no bother. So good old 300 TDI. Hello friends. Today's activity is decrusting, de-painting, de scabifying this roof and I have got these little things, paint stripper, this is probably not enough, but I mean I could just sand it down but yeah I'm feeling a bit lazy so we're going to try and apply some of this, came with the, uh, um, what did it come with, some gloves, safety first and all that, bought this little plastic scraper thing, three pound Amazon spare little plastic razor blades so we'll give this a liberal coat um, I'll probably leave it overnight the rain will probably come and wash it all off but yeah Looks like it's not been primed before painting. Uh, it's quite unusual to see that amount of flaking. So I don't know, maybe it's been left under in the sun for hours too long or who knows what, what's caused that, but it just looks like whoever's painted it's not really prepped it properly, which has caused all that 
um, but the roof has got no dents, it's completely straight, which is uh, why I bought it. The other one which came off is, yeah, it's been through the wars. Um, so let's crack on with that and, uh, and get this roof on, which means I can get rid of that cover once and for all. Which has got so many holes in it because I've taken it off and on so many times it wasn't just a little eBay number. Um, we've got a door here, uh, I'll paint it up so that'll be uh, getting put on soon. Uh, it'll start to look more like a defender. So yeah, this is the this is the fun part. In that box there, we've got uh, a new wing uh, driver side, sorry passenger side wing um, from Beer Mark. So we'll be uh, fitting that as well. So we've got the grill surround here. This has been sanded down currently by yours truly and we will get it in primer before we put it back on the front of the car and then I reckon I'll just paint this and the two wings at the same time uh, probably when the neighbours are out preferably um, making good use of the nice weather um, a bit of a dent here but I think it kind of adds character I guess you can try and straighten it out a little bit certainly not going to replace it um, so yeah, working on that, um, still trying to get all the whole paint off this roof and uh, yeah, it's very warm, very very warm. Primer. Right, I got the roof on, I need to polish it up. The doors on, um, need to adjust the hinges so it lines up properly, and these new sides are on. Um, I ended up just riveting in one, um, they're actually spot welded from the factory, but I don't have that capability, so I've got these countersunk rivets, and I'll just put a little bit of filler in there. Now, these rivets here, you get these, that's normal. It is riveted on in this part into the actual um, capping. Uh, these are galvanised cappings that I got from a 109 and uh, galvanised cappings at the back. So, uh, so I need to prep that for painting. And um, so yeah, the tubs, tubs all back on, which is good. Got the sides on, roof on. So it's looking more like a car. Uh, what else was I going to say? Um, I need to, when I paint this, I need to redo a lot of this because it just, uh, it looked good inside the carriage but out in the sun, you can see all the scratches and stuff so I'll be rubbing this all back down again and um, just doing a better job of it so, but actually, um, front wing's on, but yeah, so the main thing is um, the car is now, I guess, well, structurally sound. So that was the whole objective. I've basically got a new tub um, with all the new bits, um, galvanised bits that are connecting up. So I'll make some paint out. So yeah, yeah, pretty good step forward. Um, next steps I'm going to be doing. I need to order a new rear door. Probably get a galvanised one. I need a bonnet. Um, obviously get the door sorted out properly and um, paint the front end and uh, got this dash here as well I'm taking right out the interior can be the thing is with the interior stuff is I can do that um, when it's not hot so I'm trying to make the most of this nice weather the dry period that we have in Scotland which doesn't last very long so good progress I'm glad everything is back together and somewhat lined up not perfect but um, there's some quirks that, you know, you just have with Land Rovers, doing the best I can um, with the limited skills and <laughs> resources and time, uh, not time, space that I have. But yeah, it's uh, looking a lot better than it did a couple of months ago when it was just a rusted old chassis. So yeah, that, see that's a bit, hopefully I can blend that a little bit. Letting the roof polish it all up. Um, but these are all things that get sorted at the end, so 
and it's starting to take shape. Um, anyway, I will leave it there and in the next video, as I say, um, I've got stuff to do in the front end, the wings to paint, paint it up. I need to source a bonnet and a back door and um, well, we'll just take it from there. So thank you for watching and uh, catch you in the next one.